Hey guys, so I'm back with another video. I actually just came back from Rite Aid. Um, so I'm going to do a haul of all the things that I got. They were actually having some pretty good um, sales there this week. So I wanted to get the video up so that way this weekend you guys could go check out the sales and pick up a couple of these things if you're interested in any of them. Plus, I was playing around at work the other day, and if you go on the Rite Aid website and you link your wellness card, if you guys have those, um, you can get coupons um, directly put onto your card, so that way as you're shopping and you buy certain beauty products or things, you'll get money off at the register if you, you know, qualify for that purchase, um, as well as you can watch these, like, 30 second to a minute videos um, and you can print out a coupon. I got some really good coupons. I have my receipt here. Um, so I'll read off a couple of the coupons that I got so you guys can go print those out as well. Um, so let's get started. I did get some things um, from Wet n Wild. I got one of the blushes. This one is in Berry Shimmer. I have, I don't know if there's three or four, I have two of the other ones, um, but this one just looked really pretty um, for fall going into spring. The pigment on these is ridiculous. Look at that. They're so creamy, so buttery. They blend out beautifully. Look at that. That's super pretty. So I'm really excited to wear that. I do enjoy the other two that I have. So I wanted to get that for the collection. I also picked up the Wet n Wild Coverall Liquid Concealer Wand. I got light. Um, I actually have the foundation and powder in the coverall line. And I have to say for Wet n Wild being right around like $2.99, $3.99. It's not a bad, you know, foundation and powder duo just for days where, you know, I'm running to the drugstore or, you know, don't want to, you know, have to put all my foundation on, just kind of want to let my skin breathe. Throw a little bit of that on and go out the door and you're good to go. So I thought the concealer would be interesting to try. I love concealers. And this one has just a regular doe foot wand applicator. Um, this is the color. This is light. So it is going to be pretty fair. It's really um, peachy based, which can be really nice. Um, I don't know how the coverage, I mean, on the back of my hand, it seems nice and it feels creamy, but I don't know how illuminating it's going to be. There it is kind of blended out into my hand. So I don't know. We'll see. It may not be that great, but I think it was only $2.99 and then it was 50% off or something like that. So not a bad deal. And of course, everybody's making these little balm stains. Um, so I thought I'd try a couple more out. And these are the Wet n Wild Mega Slicks Balm Stain. This one is in 128 Pinky Promise. The only thing I've heard from these, I've seen a couple reviews already on YouTube, um, is that the color that you see in the tube, once you get it on your lips and it stains, it actually will turn darker. So I'm interested to see that's Pinky Promise there. Just a real light, sh um, shimmery pink. Um, I don't know if I'll like that one or not. It looks pretty on the back of the hand, so we'll see. And then this one actually looks like a concealer, but it's 129 Nudist Colonies. The name's kind of cute there. But I'm pretty sure it was Dulce Candy who reviewed these as well. And this one looked really pretty on her. You're probably not going to be able to see that on the back of my hand. Lighting's really bad today. It's super cloudy here. Um, but that's Nudist Colony. So I'm excited to try those and see if they're good for the price. Why not? If they're, you know, they might end up being something really great. So I was watching Julie G's video the other day, and I love her. She was one of the first YouTubers that I started watching, and I love that she's paired with Jessie's Girl with the nail polishes. They're excellent. I've tried a couple. Um, her line's actually what all my bridesmaids wore for my wedding, one of her colors. So I really love her line, and she came out with a new collection for Valentine's Day. The packaging is super cute. They're um, traditionally Jessie's Girl lipsticks are in black tubing, but for Valentine's Day they did the white, and I thought that was really pretty. But what she did is she paired a lipstick and a nail polish together, um, so they're the same color. I didn't get any of the nail polishes just because I have so many. 
but I did want to try the lipsticks. Um, this one is um, Ginger, um, and the nail polish to that is Fred for Fred Astaire and um, Ginger Rogers. And this is super pretty. She loves her corals, so these are all kind of in that pinky coral family. There's that one. And then this one is Cleopatra, and the nail polish to that one is um, Mark Anthony. And this one's a lighter coral. She also has um, one, I'm trying to think, can't remember the name of it, but it was really cute too. Um, oh, duh, for Valentine's Day, Romeo and Juliet. But here is Cleopatra. So a nice um, peachy coral there. Really pretty. I actually came home and put them both on. Um, I mixed them together just to see the quality, the feel of them. I have super dry lips, so a lot of things are not very flattering right now this time of year on my lips. And these, I have to say, are one of those that's not so flattering on me right now. Just because they're a little drying, um, and with my dry lips, you see every crack, every you know bit of dry skin that you have. So if you exfoliate really well and your lips are nice and soft, um, I think you'd be fine. The taste and smell, don't really like that as much. Um, kind of plasticky a little bit, but I mean for the price, they were buy one get one half, they're $3.99, the colors are gorgeous, I think for spring and summer I'm going to love these, um, I'm just really proud of Julie and I think they're great, so check those out and support her. I picked up some Revlon products, I have tried the new um, balm stains, the new um, matte balm and this is the lacquer balm, the shiny. I've picked up two of these before, um, so I wanted to get two more to try those out. And this one is in 205 Elusive, and this is the Matte Balm. I'm running out of room. That's pretty. It's like a darker pink color. It's almost like one of those, your lips but better, um, you know, a little darker. I think that one will be really nice. I actually really like that. And then the lacquer is in Demure, and this one was more nudie um, peach base, and that one's right there. That one actually is really pretty, that little bit of shimmer in it. Those are both two good choices, so I hope I like these. I'll let you guys know how they feel um, and what I think about the colors if you guys want. So let me know down below if you want a review on those colors or anything. And I've been raving about the Revlon Photo Ready Skin Lights Face Illuminator in Bare Light. So I thought I would pick up Peach Light um, just because with summer coming, I think a peachy glow is always so gorgeous. That's pretty. So that's what that looks like. It definitely has a lot more color to it than obviously the Bare Light does. Um, so I think, you know, with me being kind of fair, I don't know now how well this one will work. Um, but I'm hoping, you know, once I get tan and in the summer, that one I think would be really pretty. And I actually think it would be really pretty to use this um, on the, you know, the decollete on your, you know, collarbone. I think that could look super pretty with a little dress in the summer just to accentuate that area. So I'll let you know on that as well. One of the best sales I had found was on Physicians Formula. They were actually doing a buy one, get one free, which a lot of the times companies don't do that. It's usually buy one, get one half. So I decided to try two things. Um, the new Super CC Color Correcting Concealer, and I got this one in light medium. I haven't tried too much Physicians Formula in terms of like foundations and stuff like that. Um, this is one of just the little wands, um, and you click it up through. CC is all the rage right now. I guess BB was the rage last year, so we've moved on to CC, which is supposed to be a little better. That's a nice color. I think I picked a good color for me, not too light. Um, really smooth, really blendable coverage looks really nice. Um, that's it right there. 
So definitely something to check out. I want to say it was around like $12.99. But there's also on any of the Physicians Formula packaging, um, on a lot of the things, there's $3 off Insta Peel, little peely things. So look for those and take those to the register because $3 off, that made it about 10 bucks. So that was a good deal. And then this is the Physicians Formula Va Va Voom Sex, Sexy Booster Mascara. And the packaging is super cute on that. And I got it in black. Um, this looks like it's just going to be the traditional um, plastic wand, um, kind of like the um, CoverGirl wand that I really like. So let's see. Oh my. So yeah, it definitely is that style of wand as you can see there, the little bristles. Um, and actually pulling it out of the tube felt very drying, like it really drugged. So I don't know if it just pulls that much product off of the wand, um, which is a good thing. You don't want too much so you don't have, you know, spidery, clumpy lashes. So we'll see. I'm really interested in trying this. Um, and one thing to look for, it has this little sticker on for Try Me Free. Um, so I believe you go on the Physician's Formula site and there's like a rebate form. So I got $3 off of this as well because I had another pulley from something else. Um, so I got $3 back on this, which was already free um, because it was buy one, get one free. And then if I can send this in for the rebate, I'm um, not sure if that, you know how that will work since I already got it free. If they'll send me $10 back for this or not. So we'll see, but that would be really cool if I got $10 back yet on that as well. Last two things are just hair care products. I got the L'Oreal Total Repair 5 Damage Erasing Balm. Um, I heard a lot of good things about this. A lot of people really rave about this. It smells really good, really, really strong, perfumey smell. Um, I like stuff like that because I feel in your hair, then you smell it um, long after your shower. But I'm in the process right now of kind of stripping my hair out um, to get it re-dyed. So my hair has been awful lately. It's like straw. I've been wearing it up so much. Um, just not happy with it right now. So I thought maybe um, till I get it dyed again that that might help make it feel a little nicer and healthier um, till I get it redone. So I bought the Queen Helene Jojoba Hot Oil Treatment. These were actually on clearance for $1.39. It looks like you get three tubes, so three treatments. Um, and jojoba oils in a lot of, you know, face moisturizers and different things, shampoos. It's just really good um, for moisturizing. So I'm really excited to try this, um, do a treatment. I have done like some coconut oil treatments before, um, and I find that they work okay for me. So I thought that would just be a little easier than digging out in my pot of um, coconut oil. So, and it's not tested on animals, which I love. No animal ingredients. So that's really, really nice. Um, I want to start getting a little bit more cruelty free. So anytime I can find products that aren't tested on animals, why not get those? But I wanted to tell you about the discounts. Um, if you go online, you can get $4 off two Revlon lip items. You can get $3 off one Revlon face item. A um, dollar off a L'Oreal hair um, product. And those were the ones that you just watched the little video and then print off the coupon, which I thought that was excellent. And then, of course, I had the $3 off peelies. And then the Wet n Wild actually had dollar off peelies on the um, lip balms. So I got um, quite a few items here. And for all of that, with the discounts and my coupons, I spent $48.84. So I think that was really, really good. I wish it gave my um, total before all my coupons and stuff. I believe I was up around the 80-some dollar mark. So to be able to save 30-some dollars on all that, which, you know, shopping right, looking for coupons, looking for the deals online, I think that's really awesome. But I just wanted to get that up because I know this weekend, you know, you guys are going to be out and about wanting to check this stuff out. Let me know down below what you guys pick up, um, if there's any of this that you liked and want to check out yourselves. And if you guys find anything at the drugstore that you think I should check out, uh, let me know. But I will definitely talk to you guys in my next video. Have a great weekend. Bye.